Hey everybody, it's May 29th, 2020. I'm down here in the middle of nowhere. Bees on pallets. If you look up behind me up there, you'll see the watermelon field. They're doing well. I came out here with my mentor a couple of weeks ago. There's some bees I was having issues with and I uh, asked him to kind of help me fix them and we did. And I'll kind of explain what we did in a minute. It's been a little while since I put a video out. Got a little burned out on it. Uh, just need a little break. I've been super busy this year and I felt like I needed to just take a little break. So thought I'd do a video today, show you what's up and uh, we'll go from there. I wanna flip this phone around here and show you right now, at least right here, we've got a serious tallow flow going. Um, trees are actually on the other side of the camera there. I'm gonna flip it around full of honeybees. They love this tallow. Down here in the south, a lot of people call them popcorn trees, but but tallow is what, what they actually are. So anyway, we're gonna flip it around, show you what the bees are doing in this tallow, walk around, show you kind of what's going on with some of the hives, maybe take a little trip up to the watermelon field, and then we may break into a hive or two and show you what's up. So this is what tallow looks like. Um, it's not a real bold flower but it is a i guess it is just a wonderful nectar source got a honeybee right here on it working it um all kinds of little wasp little bees different kinds of things a little ant right there working it um it's just alive with bees and uh different pollinators there's a bumblebee right there that's going to work working hard a honeybee right there above it so First time I've really ever really gotten up close to a tallow tree and seen all the different uh, bees that are just working this thing like this. It's kind of cool. Um, and I imagine they're building the hives up over there with this tallow flow right now. And so I imagine they're also hopefully pollinating the watermelons really good. When we were down here a couple of weeks ago, these were just shoots sticking up. They weren't really blooms are just starting to come in a little bee right there and i mean there's bees all up in there a bee right there a couple of bees they're just everywhere so these tallow trees are all around this area i think and so it's a good spot for these bees not only to be able to pollinate the watermelons but also to help provide a nectar source for them walk up there and let you see how the watermelons are doing we're up here at the watermelon field. And you can see the watermelons are forming and developing. And they look nice. They look like they're growing a uh, nice shape, well developed. Um, so that's, that's exciting to see. My understanding is that watermelons and similar uh, fruit or vegetables that, that grow requires a certain number of touches for each bloom in order to developed properly and you can see these are well developed and doing great so the bees are doing their job at least on this part of the field let's go down and see what's going on with the bees it was two weeks ago today i believe uh, my mentor came down and we were here with me and we we checked on all these hives uh did some rearranging i was really concerned with them i've worried about it and worried about it and i just wanted a second set of eyes on them my mentor is really good good to me and he came down here and helped me with these if you'll remember when i first dropped these pallets out here within a week i think i had split as many as i could of these these were the bees that were originally on pallets and the idea was to take the original queens and put them over there and make we got 20 splits over there basically start off with 32 I think we actually had 30 live hives when we put them out here, a couple of them had died out. And we made 22 splits, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So we, we have 52 out here right now on these pallets, or we did. And so I put the queens with the original hives over there, was my goal for the most part. Left a few of them alone. And then I bought cells and put them in all these ones that we had pulled the queens off of. A lot of those queens did beautifully and they, they were doing beautifully, they've done beautifully the whole time. But some of them just really never took, uh, just never really saw evidence of a queen. Just didn't do very well. 
and so I was really concerned. I come out here a couple of, probably about a month ago, maybe not quite a month ago, I come out here. I think it was actually the 1st of May. Today's the 29th. And I uh, was just really worried about them. So he came down here with me. I bought 30 queens from Santa Fe a Queen Company, I think it's called, or Santa Fe Queens down in Florida. And I thought I was gonna have to replace a bunch of queens. He came down here with me and we ended up actually making, we got three splits over there that all end up with queens in them. And we ended up using 15 of those queens. Some of these hives did need new queens. Either they were queenless or the queen was just fought failing. We had two of them that were drone laying colonies that we uh, shook and attempted to rectify. And then we did replace some queens and some of the weaker uh, splits over there. So that's where we stand right now on May 29th. Uh, still looks like we have bees in all the hives from walking around here. And we're gonna peek in on some of them. We also, um, with the tallow flow coming in, they weren't quite, the blooms weren't quite fully developed two weeks ago, um, but we knew it was coming. So we went ahead and I went and he actually gave me some old boxes, old plywood boxes he had in a shop, in his shed out there. And uh, I got some frames from a, another friend of mine. We put them on here just to make sure they had enough space uh, to catch that flow if they needed it. Um, exciting times. So what I want to do now is just break into a couple of these. We do a quick video on one or two of them and just see how they're doing. Okay, let's get in some bees here. I'm trying a new camera angle here. Maybe you guys can see the video better. Um, it's not gonna have much of me, but it's hopefully gonna have a lot of the bees in it. So uh, one of the things that, that people have kind of uh, mentioned to me on my videos that I could do better is maybe not move the camera around so much Of course, I do have a tripod and I've used it in the past I sometimes I get kind of in a hurry and I just hold it with my hands But I can understand how that gets a little frustrating sometimes. So hopefully you'll be able to see things a little better here This particular uh, split right here is a split we took off a couple of weeks ago Off of one of the uh, main production hives or one of the main hives over there um, on the pallets uh, if I remember right, I had quite a few bees in it. it had a quite a bit of brood up here in this top box. It is a medium box. So we, we made sure the, the queen wasn't up here and we put a new queen in here, a mated queen. So let's just see how it looks here. They look really calm. If you can see this, this is the queen cage where we put a queen in there. And what it looks like we did was we took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames of honey slash brood and put them in here. Um, maybe just a couple of frames of brood. But I can't remember for sure. See, they've already started building that wax out. That new frame, I'm sure that was that must have been a new frame when we put it in here. There's a really nice flow going down here right now. So let's just see if we can see evidence that they have release the queen and that she is laying. Hope you guys will be able to see what I'm doing here. But there's some brood there. I see eggs over here in this area. You probably can't see those. Right here we have honey. So the queen is released in here. There's the cage that she was in because we do see eggs. So we will take that off. And if I see the queen here, I'm just gonna kind of spend just a little bit of time in here go through them real quick and see if I see the queen. If I do, I'll mark her real quick. Oh yeah, she's filling up every available cell. Doing a great job. So this queen is doing a great job and I think this hive will grow, hopefully into a nice colony throughout the rest of this year and into next year. Starting to lay some in this, in this uh, particular frame right here. You want to check on a lot of hives. You really just can't spend a lot of time in each hive. Um, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in here. For that honey. So we made this split, even though it was in a medium box. Obviously, as you can see, there were plenty of resources. There was some brood, honey and pollen. 
along with some uh, new frames or some frames that they could work on and draw out as the honey flow hit. So right now there are not a ton of bees in here, uh, which is okay, but there will be as she lay, continues to lay it up and the colony continues to grow. Um, I'll probably just leave it alone for now. And when I come back down in a couple of weeks, yeah, she's putting eggs all in here. At that point in time, I may add a, a, another box on, maybe a deep box or switch them around a little bit and give them some room, more room to grow if they need it. Didn't see her, but I know she's in there. If I wasn't doing this video, that inspection may have even taken less time, but I wanted to explain what I was doing. So this is a split we made from one pallet to another, staying in the same, same yard. I think we're in good shape. This is a nuke. A split we made into a nuke, as you can tell. Let's look in here real quick. Kind of the same situation. I think we took a frame or two of brood out of another hive and put it in here. Really, this time of the year with a good flow going, you don't have to put a lot of resources in your nuke. So see, we just literally took a couple frames out of one of those hives over there. And put three frames of, well actually this one may have had some, yeah it looks like this one might have had, this was the one put the queen on, so it must have had some comb on it as well. So once again, population is not huge. Don't know how well you can see, but there are eggs in this frame right here. Queen has obviously been released because we see eggs. We'll get rid of the cage. We really don't need to mess with them much because um, they just got to get established. There's the queen. She's a beautiful queen right here. Right there. Not sure how well you can see her. So I'm going to mark her real quick. Maybe she won't fly away like the one in the other video I did did. Well, I lost her. Up there she is up there. So what I do is I gently She's a hyper one. I gently press them down. You may not be able to see it because of my hand. And just paint their thorax. And they'll sit there a minute sometimes. There she is right there. They'll sit there a little while sometimes, almost like they faint or something. Then they go back to work. But I just gently push them, or kind of just hold them against the wax very gently. You can't push hard, you don't want to kill her. And they're trying to get that paint off of her, but I think it'll be good enough. So I've seen all I got to see. We got us a queen, we got us some eggs, and she's going to take her some time to get established and for this colony to really grow. This hive was kind of a problem child when we came through this. This one, the one right across over there that was similar, just two of them. Drone layer, not sure if it was a, probably laying worker, not sure what was going on. So we took the bees about, what, 80 yards up there, maybe 100 yards up on the hill, dumped them out, put a mated queen in here. So let's just peek in here and see what we got. We do still have bees, which is a good start. And so, yeah, I'll be curious to see if they, hopefully we'll start seeing some eggs and hopefully they accepted that queen. I believe, and we went through as many hives as we did out here today, I can't remember everything we did, but I believe we may have put some brood, another hive in here as well.
that's just got some pollen on it nothing else really much to speak of same story lots of pollen you can see that and we do have eggs being laid in here that's good news queen has been released and I, I just don't know if you can see this it's hard to get this on my camera i use an iphone i don't have any kind of fancy camera or anything but i'm going to just try to pull this in here and focus it so you can see get close in almost every cell there's an egg a little closer. That's exciting. That's exciting to me because that means that this hive uh, theoretically should just be fixed. Should be in good shape. Uh, it's going to take, of course, they're going to take a little bit of a hit on time because it takes a while for all those eggs to develop and hatch in the workers but and then she's starting to lay on here now really that's about all i need to see as long as i see all those eggs being laid in there see that the queen has been released i could just close it up and move on yeah we've got um larva all in there so she got released fairly quickly and just went to work this is probably possibly it's a new breed but it might be some other breed we put in here I really don't need to see anything else. Looks like we got that one fixed. We got some cloudy weather coming in. Uh, overall, they're doing pretty well. There's a few that are questionable. Some of those over there. We're just gonna need some new queens. Whenever I order my next batch of queens, I'll probably replace some of those. For the most part, the new queens we put in them were, had uh, been released and were starting to lay. And I think we're gonna have good result. We continue to try to put these. Um, my focus the next couple of weeks is gonna be honey. I'll probably harvest in about two to three weeks for my second and probably largest harvest. And then we're gonna really focus on starting to get these things uh, broken down, uh, try to split, make some more pollination hives possibly. We'll just see how it goes. Hey, I'd appreciate if you all would subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, and uh, hit that bell for future notifications for new videos from me. And I hope mm -hmm. you enjoyed the video. On to the next video.